welcome back to the channel uh, we are going to do uh, a Bass Elite unboxing this one is for the February box and yeah we're uh, <laughs> with all the boxings the gear reviews we're just going to keep going with it just got this one in so you know hey let's hit it first one in the box here coming out is the zero gravity jig uh, this is a uh, it, it's a slow fall type jig so it's, it's a lot lighter uh, looks like it's got like a, it's, it's an orange, kind of like a uh, Alabama cross style color. And it says it has a slow fall rate of only one foot for every three seconds. It comes with a four aught uh, hook on there. And I don't know, it's, it looks pretty decent. This looks like a good skipping jig. I don't skip very well. It's <laughs> something I need to work on. But this looks like it'd be a really good skipping jig. And you can use it for, uh, you know, you can swim it, you can flip it, pitch it, twitch, you know, you can even use it as a weight bait. Put a, put a floating plastic on there even, and it's, it'll still sink a little, but you know, you can skim it across and just underneath the top. Might be interesting to try. Next one we got in here is the Guggen Squad Filthy Frog. Uh, this one, I believe, so this is the two and a half inch filthy frog and this is the bullfrog color top water I don't know not much else you could say about that you can't go wrong with top water I haven't used their filthy frogs enough to give a really good review on them but I mean for the couple times I have it's been pretty good also in this box you got the Guggen hammer hooks. You get a, a three aught and a four aught. It's a two pack. I really like these hooks. I use them for everything. I'll use them for flipping, pitching, just your regular standard Texas rig. I'll even use it, you know, if I'm going to uh, do a uh, just a worm, like a stick bait. I'll use a weightless. Yes, it's a heavy wire hook, but the point is very sharp. It still penetrates in their lip. All right. Next one we have is the Ima lipless crankbait. Sorry, a little. I'm just reading it as um. <laughs> I, I, I haven't seen this one before. It's a suspending. It's called the suspending vibe 70. It's a silver lining, and it's um, it's a lipless crankbait that suspends. That's that's interesting. Uh, this might be something I just might just go out and try. I haven't seen this one before, but hey, that's part of this beauty of these boxes. You get stuff that you don't would normally you wouldn't normally buy in the store. It's got a good little rattle. Okay, let's get in some plastics here. We got the Kalen's three inch tickle grub and white. And this is a I don't know. This looks like a pretty good bait. For like maybe smallmouth, um, you know, crappie. I would would crappie would eat this pretty good too. To be honest with you, this is, I don't think this would be just a bass lure, bass plastic. But this uh, is is different. So it's your you know your your ribbon tail, your, your grub, your standard grub. But it's got little. I don't know if you can see that or not. Little nubs going around the tail. So I mean a little extra action. Um, Moves a little bit more water. Might be fun to try. Maybe good for uh, finicky largemouth too, or just trying to get out there to get a bite on anything, just to locate them, even if they're small, just to locate an area that's got them and expand from there. Next one on the list here, your list in the box, hoax fish. Um, it looks like it's it's a stick bait, but it's got ribs on it. I've seen these before, but they're called different. Uh, one's called like a coontail worm. I can't remember what brand that was, but uh, I've got some on the wall. I think it's by Big Bait, Big Bite Baits. But you know, this looks this is in green pumpkin. You know, it, it's gonna work. It's gonna catch fish. You can wacky rig it. You can Texas rig it. You know, whatever whatever your heart desires. And if you wacky rig it, I suggest using the uh, 
the Mustad. Well, there's a lot of different rings out there you can use. You can just use the, the standard ring, slide on there, and that'll work just fine. I mean, I've used that a lot. I've caught a lot of fish on it that way. You can also Nico rig this thing too. This would be a pretty good Nico rig. But if you do use that, um, the, the the ring that I use to wrap around the worm, it's by Mustad, and it's got the one where, you know, sure you can, you know, go through the ring, but you can. This got a little hole on top where you can go the other direction. And they got other brands out there too. I know VMC has some. Uh, Arsenal baits. Arsenal has some too, I think. And with those ones, the the ring is not just a you know a ring. It's it's wider. It's got more. It wraps more around the worm, so it they do help a little bit. But I haven't seen that big of a difference. And plus the Mustad ones, they're not that expensive. It's a good worm. It's gonna catch fish. Okay, all right, next one, <laughs> 13 fishing, it's called the bubble butt. Five inch, uh, five inch worm, collared number 11, collared greens. It looks like um, a green pumpkin, but a little bit of translucent to it, some black flag. This is, you know, your, I'm not gonna say standard, but this is like your finesse worm. You know, this is going to work pretty good. Throw it on a shaky head. You can still Texas rig it. You can throw it on just like even a, um, uh, a jig head. A VMC, you know, a neon moon eye, or just a VMC moon eye. Uh, some kind of a light wire jig. And you can throw it on, on that. Just toss it out. And just, you know, float it back in. And, you know, you can drag it. Hop it. You know, it's the finesse worm that's going to work with just about any application you got. Obviously, maybe not a not, not a you know a heavy weedless jig, of course, but uh, you could even throw it on a, a heavy finesse football head jig. And if you're out in deep water, just get it down there. And the heavier you go, you can kind of burn it across the bottom, or you can still just drag it and hop it. Both ways will get you bites. All right. Next one on in the box here is the Jackhammer Stealth Blade. It's 3 8 ounce um, by Red Height. And the cool thing about this thing is the Stealth Blade just means that the blade is, is clear and it's not as big, so it, it doesn't it has it has still has its vibration, but it's not as loud and the fish can't see this blade like they can see the other one so it's your finesse style my opinion I feel like it's your finesse style bladed jig these things are proven to catch fish they are expensive so when you go and buy them they're like 16 bucks a piece yep $15.99 and so I fish in an area where there's a lot of pike. This isn't going to be my first one to go out and buy, but now that I got one, hey, I'm going to give this one a shot. I personally, I, I've been attracted to Picassos, and they've been really good for me, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with the jackhammers. Jackhammers are good bladed jigs. They're just too expensive for my budget. <laughs> I've been bit off three times in one day bladed jigs by a pike. Now. Three times, you know, three times sixteen dollars for these. You know, if you do the math, that's that's an expensive day. That's well, I guess it's not more than gas, depending on where you go. But you know, it, it that that's gas for your way to the lake. You know, so this is good jig, good bladed jig. Uh, we'll try it. We'll be using it. Black and blue. Love black and blue. Yeah, you know, and just like every other box, you get, well, okay, so along with that, excuse me, the Z-Man Chatterbait Jackhammer Stealth Blade, you know, in this box they give you um, the, uh, they call it the Monthly Spotlight. You know, they give you a card, they give you, you know, how on the back here they 
you know, give you ways to retrieve it and the, the gear recommendations. So, whoops. That's pretty, that's pretty good. It's pretty nice, nice to have if you're not familiar with bladed jigs or, you know, the, the jack hammers. Next uh, that we have, that we found in there, it's a new decal. I, I, I actually really like this decal. It's a bass chasing after it looks like a lipless you know what I have no idea what that is that could easily be a blade bait <laughs> that's a pretty sweet little decal that's gonna go on my coffee or my, my, my drink mug or something and your what's inside what's inside the box you know with the prices and stuff so that's pretty neat and then your dibble fishing tips and tricks booklet as always yeah, that's going to do it for this one. This is, uh, you know, been pretty good little box. We're going to be able to use a lot of this stuff as you typically would in, in these boxes. That's why I like them. That's why I've continued to purchase these over. Now I've been doing this for about six. Oh, gosh, no longer than that. It might be like it might be like close to nine years now. I've been doing I've been getting these boxes, not continuously. I've taken breaks here or there, but I always keep coming back because of the quality of lures and you know the, just the uh, the amount that you get in there and you know you get different things. You don't get a bunch of just one thing. You get plastics, you get hooks, you get jigs, you get hard baits. You know, so I like the variety that you get, and they also try to fit you with the time of the year that you know that it's in, and it works out. Of course, up here, you know it's we're frozen we're frozen over so I can't use any of these baits really until spring which is fine I understand that you know I get it but great little box and that's going to do it for this uh, mystery tackle box bass elite February unboxing and we'll catch you guys in the next one